just seeing race, whenever you, you hear race is so polarizing, you see it on the media, you see it in movie theaters, when you read about it, but it's so refreshing to see uh, race presented as a social construction, telling people that we're just human beings, that black, white, all of these different titles basically are nothing more than constructions used to polarize people and keep us, uh, you know, away from one another. It's my prayer, it's my hope that when people see color struck, they're able to see issues of race from a different vantage point. I think heretofore, race has been talked about in that black and white paradigm, but uh, in color struck, we're presenting race as a social construction, which basically shows that as human beings, we're more alike than we are different. And I think that should be the foundation of we as Americans working on our race relations. And I hope that when people see it, that they'll get that and it will be that first genesis, that step towards a new conversation. So I'm just looking for that impact to just be a fresh perspective. So that's what I'm excited about. It's a lot of pain. It's a, lot, it's a huge responsibility. So it's great that this baby is coming forward to the world. And I just want to see it grow up and really make a positive impact in this world. Race is not about the color, but it's about the content of the person's heart. I think that race is something that we deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. And I think in this documentary that my pastor has presented to us, we will learn how to deal with it and move forward. The first thing that comes to mind when I hear color struck is a caste system within the African American community, one that has plagued us uh, throughout our history here in the United States of America. When I think of color struck, uh, what immediately comes to mind is literally putting race right in front of your face, making you look at it for it's good, it's bad, you're struck with color, literally. Not using color as a constraint to our progress and our contributions to society. My expectations of this uh, documentary is that it, it will be a, the start of a new conversation in the 21st century. In our society now, we're a little removed from the civil rights movement. We have so many opportunities now. So I'm looking to see a perspective that can branch out and touch the younger generation as well. Those who weren't a part of the initial struggle. I expect to be challenged, I expect uh, to be moved, I expect to be uh, intellectually uh, stimulated, uh, I expect uh, to be transformed in some ways. I expect to forge new ground, create new thought, and usher in a new America. We just finished viewing Color Struck. We had a wonderful family evening and enjoyed the documentary by um, Dr. Joseph Williams. And I thought the Color Struck um, documentary was very thought provoking. I thought it was very well put together and I applaud the staff that put it together. It was very enlightening. I thought the documentary was a very good conversation piece that will start with what I'm already speaking soon that race is talk, just like prejudice. And just like we talk about prejudice, we must talk about race. This is an extension of the civil rights movement that never got finished. It started with Joe Martin before the king died, and all the signs went down. I was very informed and enlightened. I wish I had gotten it. I'll be on race just listening to the video and studying different cultures. I think a lot of people have a misconception that race and nationalities are the same, but they are very different. And once we are educated on different nationalities, just forget about skin color, that doesn't matter. But it's the nationalities and the cultures and the traditions of a certain people is what will help us embrace others as we are I just believe that it's going to be given a very, very high rating. And I just believe tonight is just the start of what is what this documentation is going to land, where it's going to land. It's, it's on the runway now, but it's not going to stop until it gets up. It was epic.